For the past year, I've been dealing with major engine issues. So it came down to either repower or rebuild this engine. And I decided if I'm going to put another engine in, I don't really want to deal with an older engine and the cost of a brand new diesel engine is pretty high. So I decided that if I was going to invest that much money, I wanted to go electric. So I got a 12 kilowatt unit that runs on 48 volt, which is the equivalent of about 16 horsepower or so. There it is. And those two little boxes, which are not that big, about 110 pounds altogether, is my new propulsion system. And it's all electric. Yay! I ordered it two months ago, so I was really eager to get it. Ooh, big news. Guess what I just got? Some lithium batteries from Linac Lithium, which is a Canadian manufacturer, which was uh, something that was important to me, not only for cost and shipping, but I wanted to encourage a somewhat local company rather than importing it from another country. There you go. 150 amp hour at 48 volt. I plan on doubling and getting two more of these, but for now I can't really afford it. They were fairly affordable for what they are, and they have a warranty, which is why I went with a pre-made battery instead of making my own uh, lithium battery, because I wanted certainty and I, I have to focus on building the actual electric motor assembly rather than building a battery. Here's the motor, by the way. For the motor is a liquid-cooled unit. This is an ME1616. And the, you can see that it, like, it has a pulley uh, reduction system. So the, I'm still waiting for the shaft, so the shaft will go through here and there'll be a, a large pulley, which is right here, uh, which will mount onto there. Well, that's a huge bummer. Completely fucking smashed. So here's panel number one. Perfect condition. So that is 425 watts of power at 48 volt. But then there's the second one. And uh bad news looks like something hit it pretty hard that's such a bummer this is completely destroyed I was super lucky the company who sold me the cell panels was super quick to send another one so within a couple weeks I had the new panel to replace the old one and uh, unfortunately I did not film the part where I built the the solar array I was actually doing it a little bit uh, every night after work, so it was a little bit hard to, to film anything, but it's uh, built out of recycled uh, stainless. On to the hands of self-destruction I'm back to a place that I left a long time ago Still insane, I'll smoke this cigarette
Two months ago, what the actual problem was is that the throttle cable, here's the throttle, which will be installed outside, only had like a four foot cable on it. So um, there's no way I could reach the cockpit from here uh, with, with only four feet. So it's about like I need to at least 15 feet. So what happened is that I had extended this. Uh, cable with just uh, regular wires and then um, I didn't know that the the a bit like a coax cable there was a, a metal shield around the six other wires and uh, when I asked them how to proceed about extending they didn't tell me that that was a ground and I didn't realize it when I um, undid the, the this uh, wire so like it's kind of a, a shame that that was the whole problem is so it prevented the whole motor from functioning. There you go. So, make sure it's neutral. Yeah. So here we go. There's no error code. Do you see that little green light? If it's not flashing, it's a good thing, because uh, last time I tried this, it was flashing because the throttle was wrong. So, let's see what happens. So we have a forward and a reverse. So now we have an error code. It's like forcing back when I try to move it. It's really hard. Which, uh, when it's not engaged, it's super easy to spin it. So it's like it's forcing against itself in both directions, so it sounds like the encoder issue might be the problem as I've tried sine cosine uh, uh, cables in pretty much every position possible and it does not work. Uh, so back to square one. The error code that the motor controller was displaying meant that there was an issue with the encoder. When I took a better look at the encoder connection, which is the main communication connection between the motor and motor controller, you could see that the blue and white wires are actually mispositioned. So all I had to do was switch those around and then I gave it a try and actually the motor all of a sudden worked. So that was the issue all along. Big news.
fuck yeah. Now I just have to finish everything. <laughs> so, this is Ford. That was about half throttle. Next episode, we test the battery range because we need to know how far we can get with only one battery charge. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you get notified next time an episode comes out.